So now let's take a look at our disaster recovery options. Uh, and based on what you choose, they're going to be a trade of cost versus time to recover based on the RPOs or RTOs, of course. And so sometimes this is rep represented vertically like a, uh, a thermostat, or you can do it horizontally here. Um, both are valid ways of displaying this information, but I just have it horizontally here today. And so we have low or high, or you could say, um, even though I don't have it written here, this could be cold or this could be hot, okay? So um, on the left-hand side, we got backup and restore, pilot light, warm standby, multi-active site. Notice we're using the, like, the words like pilot light, warm, things that are relating to temperature. So again, cold and hot, all right? So let's just walk through what each of these things conceptually do uh, in terms of architecture. So when you're doing a backup and restore, you're back, you basically back up your data. And uh, at the time of disaster recovery, you're just going to restore it to new infrastructure. Uh, for a pilot light, the data is replicated to another region with the minimal services running to keep on replicating that data. And so you might have some core services running. A warm standby is a scaled down copy of your infrastructure. So you basically have everything that you would absolutely need to run an application. But the idea is it's not at scale. And so at any time when there's an incident, you're going to scale up to the capacity that you need. And then you have multi-site active active where you, you have a scaled up copy of your infrastructure in another region. So basically everything you have identically in another region. And so in terms of the RPOs and the RTOs for back and restore, you're looking at hours. Uh, with the pilot light, you're looking at 10 minutes. With a warm standby, you're looking at minutes. And multi-site uh, active active, you're looking at uh, real time. So you know hopefully that gives you an idea of you know the difference in terms of scale. But let's just look at more detail. So for a backup and restore, this is for low priority use cases, restore data after event, deploy resources after an event, and it's very cost effective. Uh, for pilot light, you, this is where you have less stringent RTOs and RPOs. So that you're gonna be just running your core services. Uh, you're gonna start and scale resources after the event. And this is a little bit more expensive. This is uh, very good for warm standby is good for business critical services. So you scale resources after the event. Uh, and it's uh, almost very, it's very, it's costly, but it's not as expensive as a multi-site active active. So you get zero downtime, near zero loss. Uh, you have, it's great for mission critical services and it's just as expensive as your original uh, infrastructure. So you're basically doubling the cost there, okay?